and people in Greene County are now starting to get back into restaurants on a limited basis. That started yesterday with dining rooms allowed to have restricted capacity today, marking the second day in a row with those rules in place. Our Jesse Inman is live in Springfield tonight to explain that for some establishments, this couldn't have come at a better time. Jesse, good evening. Yeah, good evening to you both and happy Cinco de Mayo to you. You know, and it's a day that most Mexican restaurants would call their biggest and busiest day of the year. And, you know, this year was set to fall on a Taco Tuesday, no less. But this year it looks a little bit different, Cinco de Mayo does in 2020. Well, today is like our number one day out of the year. This place right now should be packed, you know, and you're looking at it, it's all empty. When Greene County put the original stay at home orders in place back in March, it was quite the hit for La Hacienda. We pretty much had to let go 80% of our employees. They relied on carry out orders from their loyal customers to keep them afloat. Now they're allowed to open back up, but manager Victor Olgan says they're sticking with their approach because opening the dining room just doesn't make sense for them. Well, based on city standards, this is a uh, hundred people capacity, but based on what they did uh we would only have between 20 or 25 people in which is like four or five tables we decided it was best for us to to stay just uh carry out to go order wait and see what's going to happen with a remodel in progress they're looking forward to a grand reopening of sorts when the time is right across town at jose locos it's an open dining room and it was a busy day uh, it's been steady with a capacity just under 50 people <laughs> Manager Talia Rodriguez says they've had a line out the door from the time they've opened. We decided to um, say one booth yes, one booth no, um, so that we can take our precautions. We're sanitizing more than usual. Um, we're keeping our distance. She says it's exciting to have people back in the restaurant, and there are some underlying nerves, but they are happy to see their customers once again. I think everybody's just a little bit nervous simply because you don't you don't know. I mean, everybody's just starting to get used to going out. Um, everybody's still precautious. Now, it's worth mentioning here that both managers that you just heard from, incredibly grateful to their customers, helping them stay afloat right now, and both restaurants going above and beyond, as are many, to make sure that customers are kept safe if they do choose to go out and uh, dine in uh, dining rooms around Greene County right now. In Springfield, Jesse Inman, Ozarks First.